few new tweets to go through. Think about this. How are they able to short AMC so heavily? Over leverage. Where do they get the money from? The banks. Who is struggling right now? Banks are. Cut the head off of the snake and it collapses. Look at the world. Major stuff is happening. UK, UK nearly collapsed. The Vatican's moving money and so much more. There's also crazy rumors going on that Credit Suisse is on the brink of collapse. And although apparently they're not, there's a lot that seems to be going on in the background. And this eight makes a good point. How is there so much money out there to be able to short things like AMC stock? Well, before this last downturn, before the Federal Reserve started to raise rates, money was basically infinite. These bankers and hedge funds were able to use leverage and basically borrow money for almost no interest. And that's why we are in the issue that we are in right now. Over the past few years, massive, massive amounts of money have been borrowed and now the faucet has been turned off. There's no more money coming out, things are drying up, and we're going to see who can survive. We have a new tweet from Unusual Wales and Dave Lauer. Unusual Wales says, breaking, the representatives have voted to pass a new set of rules that will severely weaken the ability of the Office of Congressional Ethics to investigate members of Congress for potential wrongdoing, including stock trading. And Dave Lauer says, in case you thought that there would be some actual action taken in the Congress to restrict insider trading by politicians. So if you guys remember back, Unusual Wales did a really good piece on on all those that are involved with Congress and all of their trading. And it was shocking. Like they were beating Warren Buffett. They were beating some of the best traders in the world. But just like Dave Lauer said, imagine Congress actually taking some action against Congress being restricted to trade, right? Those of you who doubt whether AMC will squeeze with all the FUD going around, I don't understand why you feel like nothing is going to happen because the FUD just strengthens my resolve in this play, regardless of the outcome of the upcoming vote. This thing is, in my honest opinion, going to fly like we've never seen before. Just ask yourself why anyone would go through so much trouble of putting forth so much effort to scare people if nothing was going to happen. Why would they try so hard to get everyone to sell? Why would they try so hard to put all this different foot out there and to infiltrate the subreddits, to infiltrate all the mainstream media sources if nothing were to happen? Have a good one, people.